Hello and welcome to my second um, Elite Dangerous uh, Let's Play video. Um, this time I want to change some things around. Um, the first change is I'm recording in 720p now instead of, uh, of full HD uh, resolution because um, the game still looks uh, pretty cool in this resolution and my computer is not overwhelmed by recording and running the game at the same time. And that's a great plus in my book. Um, the other thing I ch I've changed is this time I'm talking while I'm playing. The last time it wasn't really a let's play video because I recorded the video first and then added my comments later. And this time I'm trying to play the game while actually recording. So please bear with me. Um, for some reason, uh, I'm now leaving the hangar. Okay, whatever. Um, uh, perhaps I uh, shall talk about my um, my computer first, so you um, have some ideas if the game might run for you um, as good or perhaps better. Uh, at the moment, I own. PC with a quad core processor by um, it's a core to quad processor uh, by Intel, which is a couple of years old now. I think it's four, six six years or something about that. Um, uh, and um, it's definitely the oldest component aside from the mainboard in my PC right now. I'm using. Um, AMD Radeon 7850 um, graphics card and I and for controlling um, the the game I use a Thrustmaster T-Flight Hotes X a joystick and throttle combination which works pretty well for the game ah and um, the game runs from a SSD at the moment so the loading times are pretty short. I um, I haven't found out a way to install it on another drive mm, yet. For some reason, um, the 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 launcher only installs um, the game on the C uh, hard drive. So I can test if it runs uh, slower from a normal hard drive. Okay, I'm now docked at Azerban City, and as you can see, my, I'm still in my uh, Sidewinder. Um, let me check something. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Um, uh, in the last time I've played, I've tried of combat, uh, tried, uh, tried combat, and I have realized that combat is actually a better way to make money than trading at the moment. Um, I uh, took my Sidewinder with one loaned pulse laser and um, flew it uh, to one of the conflict zones in the system, and actually realized uh, that shooting down uh, NPCs is extremely easy. And in about a couple hours, I made uh, several thousand credits, which allowed me to buy a second pulse laser, which helps um, in combat a lot. Uh, I actually died two times, um, but because you get the Sidewinder for free and um, everything else at a reduced price, um, I was able to get the second pulse laser back. And I still have some money left. Let me check. I'm still fighting with the controls a bit. Okay, status. I have still 1950 credits, which is not too bad. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've killed 10 NPCs so far, and I've changed my commander name to Michael Wolf. Um, it, um, I wanted to use my uh, Stargazer nickname, but was actually taken, so I thought about this, uh, another nickname, which was also taken, so I've decided to go with my real name. What the heck. Okay, now let's, uh, let's launch this 
thing. Okay. Return to surface. Launch. Okay. Slowly, slowly. Leaving the station is is usually much easier than entering it. Uh, uh. But sometimes my brain misbehaves and I, uh, instead of um, pulling the st stick to the left or the right for rolling, I turn the stick, uh, which is actually yaw in, in this game. So, okay. <sighs> so, let's lay on the course. Um, I usually fly to the Aronin 3 conflict zone, which is low intensity. Let's lock and engage super cruise. What? Ah, I forgot to do uh, it. Uh. And the gear retracted. Better. Okay, let's try this again. Engage super cruise. Ah. This sounds much better. Four, three, two, one. Mm. It seems the servers are ah, it works. Okay. Um, sometimes the server are a bit overwhelmed and it takes ages for you to enter and leave super cruise or to make jumps or to buy and sell stuff uh, but at the moment it's, it's it's fine super cruise is a bit tricky uh, i often overshoot the target uh, and i haven't got the hang of it yet um, but it's a pretty nice feature. It's much. Uh, it's it makes sense in uh, in in the game, and it's a much better solution than uh, the time. Um, the, the ah, what is it called? It called? I don't remember. Uh, in 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 Frontier, there was something similar where you can could speed up time, but this uh, obviously does make much sense in a multiplayer game though they changed it to super cruise which allows you to fly uh, with uh, speeds I think up to 50 times the speed of light while still being able to maneuver and to travel from one star system to the other you use jump drive like in the previous games By the way, um, as you can see, the speed in Super Cruise changes constantly, uh, even though I haven't uh, touched the, sh the throttle. I'm not exactly sure uh, what influences the speed uh, you you have in Super Cruise. I think I have to read up on this. If you know, please. Oops. Um, yeah. This is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, I. Overshoot, uh, overshoot the target. Okay. Slowly, 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 slowly. Uh, by the way, if you use um, throttle and uh, and stick, uh, it's it's very easy to use mouse look to look around. So while you are uh, flying in, in super cruise, 
you can easily press the middle mouse button and look around. But uh, I usually use uh, just the joystick. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, I'm a bit slow. Yeah, you need uh, need to have some patience uh, while playing Elite Dangerous. Getting from A to B usually takes uh, quite a lot of time, which makes sense. Um, space is pretty big after all, uh, uh, but um, if you're used to m most modern games where just press a button and you are there, um, it, it takes some patience. Even though the game looks uh, pretty cool graphics-wise, the sound is pretty amazing, uh, it, it has some old-school elements in it. Which is actually a good thing. to leave um, Super Cruise safely um, uh, you need to have a speed slower than 200 km per second and uh, when you reached uh, a distance of 200 km uh, you can you can leave safely and you will actually be near the place you wanted to, to get Okay, we are now out of Super Cruise and hopefully some targets will appear soon. Ah, I have to I have to choose a faction now. Um, in this region, in this region, the Federation and the Iranian are fighting against each other. I usually choose the Federation. Okay, I. Pick the federation. Ah, and of course, I am under attack already. not my day. <sighs> okay, now I have the chance uh, to rebuy the old loadout for 180, uh, 100, uh, 1850 credits or I can get the free Sidewinder. I choose uh, the old loadout to get my second um, Pulse Laser back. Okay. Next time, I probably shouldn't um, shouldn't set my faction when I'm in the middle of other chips. Ah, we're back at a run-in spaceport. Good. Let's launch. Okay. 
this time. Let's be check the landing gear first. Some throttle would be nice. Very cool. Okay, um, considering that um, the video has um, reached a couple of minutes already and it was only meant as a, kind of, uh, as a test, I will uh, probably end it here and I will show you a little bit more of Elite Dangerous in the coming days. Take care and thanks for watching.